Hello everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. We've not been together for two weeks and I am excited to get back on track. You guys, it is like fall here in South Texas. Well, <laughs> as far as South Texas weather goes, but it feels crisp and I have a little jacket on today. I am wearing shorts, but you know, when you put a jacket on with your shorts, that's fall weather, right? <laughs> I hope you guys have had a great week. I am excited for Halloween. I've got lots of things to show you today. I'm going to give us just a minute. Um, let me pull this up on my device so that I can see your comments. You know, I really do need like an assistant because I can never remember how to use this Kindle. Um, but I will say, you guys know, I've, I have been struggling with a second device. My iPad wasn't working, whatever. I got this Kindle because it was super cheap. I actually left it on the treadmill. It's been there for now a week and a half and I just realized it because that's the only time I use it is on the treadmill or for you guys. And I went and got it and it still has 67% battery. That's amazing. If you left an iPad sitting there for a week and a half, it would be dead. That's pretty amazing. It can be done, Apple, it can be done. Okay, I have found the video. Let's see if I can pull you guys up. Okay. Good. Hi, everybody. Oh, I love when I can see your comments. Good. Hello, hello, hello. So, it is October. How did we get here, you guys? <laughs> How did we get here? I'm happy that we got here because I really am not a fan of the summer, um, but I do love the fall. Um, so, since it's October 2nd, I feel like we now have permission to dive headfirst into Halloween and pumpkins. So, this week is all Halloween. Next week, I... I actually had projects designed for next week, but I feel like I need to slide in another, hmm, I don't know. Next week, we'll do some Halloween, some other stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not ready to commit. Um, I do have, right over my shoulder right there, I have some projects ready. See, I have to time all this right so that if you guys see something you want, um, you know, like for Halloween, you have to order it, give it time to get to you, all of that. Um, so I have to time all of this right. So I'm always working way ahead. Um, but we'll see. Anyhow, October 1st brought a designer series paper sale. Hopefully you guys saw that yesterday. I did not send out an email because I had just sent out an email the day before. And you have all month anyway. Um, but starting yesterday, we have a selection of our designer series paper on sale, 15% off. Um, which is, I think, pretty significant when you look at the price. And if you're a demonstrator, you get an additional 20 or 25% off, which is amazing. Always a good idea to buy the starter kit. Um, there is this, it's not all the DSP. It's a selection of them. But it's some of my favorites, including the plaid tidings, which I love. Um, so that sale started yesterday, goes to the end of the month. Um, so if you're doing any shopping this month, make sure you check that out. If you guys have been on the new Stampin' Up! customer page, it's kind of, it's beautiful, but I, I don't know. I feel like maybe I just used the old website for so long, I'm not used to the new one. But if you move your mouse over at the very top, there's three tabs, and one says something like specials or sales. And if you hover over that, it'll give you a drop down menu and there it'll say designer series paper sale and you can click there. I think there's also one of those rotating pictures that you can click on, but if you um, are looking for it, you can look up at the top on the third little tab up there and it'll, it'll give you the, the link to the paper. It's also linked on my blog. That's probably the easiest. Go to Pink Buckaroo and click it. Um, but anyway, check out the paper. I think I'm going to turn you guys around because I have a lot to show you. Let me... Let me put, put this over here. I have a lot to show you and I think it'll be better if I show you. Well, no, maybe I won't yet. Let me just get some of this out of the way. I'm gonna tell you about this stuff. Last night, yesterday, it, we did the October All-Star Tutorial Bundle blog hop. That's a lot of words. Hi, Sandy. Um, and um, hi, Judy. Um, hopefully you check you were able to check it out uh, this month our tutorial bundle is flowers for every season and um, that's the one with the sunflower you know you probably saw a ton of that when the new catalog came out so we the 12 of us 12 different designers all came up with different projects using that suite um, and mine is a single coffee cup carrier how stinking cute right and that sunflower is my favorite but that's my tutorial in here. They're all videos. Um, we used to type up the directions step by step, but we found that the videos, you guys seem to like the videos more. So it's 
it's about 55 pages of PDF. It gives you all the measurements and the products and photos and then a link to the videos as well. So if you would like that, you get it free when you spend $50 with me. Um, you get it free if you're in, on my team. Another reason to buy the starter kit. Hi, Terry. Um, you get it, you can, if, you, if you're not on my team and you're not gonna order, you can also buy it in my PDF store for $15. And uh, it's really good. It's, it just keeps getting better and better. These, these ladies that I am on this team with are amazing. Um, but anyway, this is my project. And I had a bonus project yesterday um, on the blog hop. And chocolate covered sunflower seeds, you guys, these are kind of hard to find. But look at them. They're so pretty. I ate some. Meh. There's other things I'd rather eat. But I had to try them, right? So anyway, I had bought these before at... Um, Joanne Fabrics. These I found at my favorite, can you guess, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Um, and they they had red in them, but it, I took all the red ones out. So anyways, if you're looking for chocolate covered sunflower seeds, I'm sure you could find them other places like Amazon, whatever. But I always, um, when I find them, I'm like, oh, and I buy them because they're, they're so pretty and cute and they make a cute project. Anyhow, if you're looking for that post, just hop back one post from today's post and you'll see it. All right, the next thing I wanna tell you is my Love of Leaves class to go. I keep calling it Lots of Leaves, and that's not what it's called, Love of Leaves. It's this stamp set with these dies. You guys know me, the stitch dies are my favorite, and these leaves are awesome. So the class to go has six projects. It has two 3D items right here, and then it has um, four cards. Um, one, let's see, one's a fancy fold, but they're all this beautiful fall colors. Um, the class to go will include a bolt of early espresso ribbon, a pack of gilded gems, and a pack of linen thread. I don't know about you guys, but I go through this stuff like water. I love it. Um, but your kids will include that. If you buy option one, that includes the bundle. You're actually getting those gems for free. It's an $8 value. Um, option two, you can get without the bundle if you already have it or you're gonna order it yourself. Um, option three is PDF only, or maybe it's option four. I switched it around this month. I don't know why I did that. One of the options is PDF only. And then the last option is for my downline. Um, they, they always get the uh, make and take kits really cheap. So you can get PDF only if you're interested, all right? The deadline on that is October 21st. So we have 19 days and it'll go out October 28th. All right, then I wanna tell you about Club Create this month. Um, Club Create, and I haven't done a post yet about Club Create this month. I try to do a post every month so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's coming and, and what, what it looks like. Um, but Club Create is my subscription club. And um, this month is gonna be the Coming Home Bundle, which is this bundle right here. Uh-oh, the little houses, um, which, Looks Christmassy with a paper, but it can go all year, don't you think? We use this for the schoolhouse, do you remember? So Club Create is a subscription, and you join, you subscribe, and it's billed through PayPal. You don't have to do anything. And each month, I um, send you a kit ready to go. Now, you can cancel any time you want. Um, and if you remain in the club for six consecutive months, you get a $25 product credit, whatever you want, and I'll order it for you. So if you'd like to join, and you can just join if you're like, oh, I just want that one, join for a month and then cancel. I'm totally fine with that. You can totally do that, okay? So um, is there a link at the bottom of today's post? I don't think so, but on today's PDF, there is a link right there. See right there? I also put a tab at the at the top of my blog yesterday that says Club Create. It has all the main information, the subscription links, and then I, that's where I'm gonna list every month a photo of what we did that month, as well as a link to the PDF. Yes, the PDF is available online. And every month the Club Create PDF includes a video. I do videos for those. So if you don't wanna join, PDF only. It's over there right now, up at the top of my blog, click Club Create. All right, deadline to sign up for this month, if you want this one, is the 7th. So that's very close, all right? Dina, what did you just say? Hold on, You're, you just left Colorado, is that what you said? She says, I'm on the road back to Texas from Colorado and I keep losing signal. Oh my gosh, 
while you were in Estes Park, I was in Brackenridge Pikes Peak. Oh, y'all, Colorado is amazing. It is exactly what my soul needed, let me tell you. Exactly. It was so good. The colors were so beautiful. The weather was perfect. We hiked a ton. I wore my husband out. He was like begging to not hike anymore. <laughs> So I was like, ha, ah, I'm a little more in shape than you, I guess. No, I shouldn't say that. Um, but he was tired and I was like, all right, now let's go eat since we hiked all day. It was fun. Um, so we had a really good time and I saw those yellow Aspen, um, no, yes, Aspen. I always get them mixed up. Yeah, Aspen, the yellow quaking Aspen against that brilliant blue sky. Mm, it's just beautiful. Okay, you guys. Um, I told you about those three things. Paper pumpkin this month. I have not done it. Have some of you done your paper pumpkins that you, um, that was this month. Here it is. Look, they are these, what do they call them? Crackers, you know, where you crack it open and they can be either Halloween or non-Halloween. This is how it comes to you. Comes with everything you need. It has a spot and it has the stamps. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I haven't even looked at that. That's a witch hat. How cute. Anyhow, this one is mine. I'm going to do this one, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extras. If you would like one of these, this month's paper pumpkin, email me. Okay. I have seven. I have a feeling they'll probably go really fast. All right. And I will update this video when they're sold out. Anyway, <laughs> Michelle says she's behind. You know what, Michelle? Tomorrow is World Card Making Day. I think you need to give yourself four hours to put together your four paper pumpkins. It's a holiday. You need, you need to do that. All right. Um, Elaine, I did. The question is, did I mail it to you? I need to check. I wrote, I wrote your name on it, and I don't see it here, so I think I mailed it to you already. I'm going to check, okay? But I, I think I mailed it days ago. Anyways, it's so cute. But I also want to tell you next month's November, joy to the... No, this month's October, right? Yeah, so this was September. This came in September. Oh my God. This is October's joy to the world. Um, and it says... This kit will include supplies for eight elegant holiday cards, and it's perfect for connecting with people you love during the festive season. So if you're a Christmas card person, make sure you subscribe before the, what is it, the 10th of the month? Someone correct me. I don't want to give you wrong information. Um, I will have that link in um, the description here, okay? Okay, how about some prizes? I have lots of Lots of choices. Lots of you shared the video last week, thing, or two weeks ago. Thank you very, very, very much. I really do appreciate that. You know, I'm a small business, basically. That's what I am. And when you guys share on Facebook, it helps me find new customers. So I greatly appreciate that. Um, you know, it, it is just, it's nice. Thank you, Elaine. It is the 10th. The deadline for Paper Pumpkin is the 10th. Jenna, thank you. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. Thank you. For helping my small business. Um, you guys, I had an amazing Stampin' Up! The Stampin' Up! year just started over on the first. <laughs> We're back to square one again. But you guys get, helped me have a fantastic year. So I really appreciate that. Um, anyhow, how about some winners? Lisa Johnson, prized peony. Did I say it right? Peony, <laughs> prized peony. Um, Lisa, I don't think I have your mailing address. Let give me let me know so I can send it to you. And then the other one for the best plaid builder dies and the best year stamp set. I started thinking, is that what goes with? Do those go together as a bundle? I don't know, but I'm giving them away as a bundle. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, this winner is Pauline Turner. Pauline, I don't have yours either. I don't believe so. Please either message me on Facebook or email me Erica with a C at pinkbuckaroo.com. Okay, okay. Now, let's see what I have for this week's prizes. Two more bundles. How about a Hallow's Night Magic Bundle? Yeah, you guys, somebody needs this for sure. We're gonna use the dies today. This was my class to go um, last month. And then the other one, oh, I love this one, Celebration Tidings. Yeah, the one with the curvy label dies. All right, so you can be entered by sharing on Facebook, sharing the video on Facebook. If we're not Facebook friends, I can't see it that you've shared it. So just comment, doot, 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 shared, 
and I'll know and I'll put you in the drawing. All right, it looks like we're cleared off. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Paper sale, classes, do, 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 all that. Okay, so today, Facebook Friday, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick a product and I design three projects with it. Um, this week, the product is the Ghoulish Goodies. Um, and then you, if you would like those, this is kind of like a card class where I'm going to show you three projects and then you can make all three projects. Um, and I will send them to you in the mail for free with an order. And the order minimum is $35. And there's a host code for you to use. If you want to put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, the host code is at the top of the PDF, as well as I'm going to flip the camera down. You'll see it. I'll also put it up here in the description. Um, and then you, I'll send them to you. I, it, it's, uh, the cutoff is Monday at midnight. I get up first thing. I spend half of Tuesday cutting, packing, and prepping those, and I ship them on Wednesday. So if you would like one of those, all you have to do is put in an order. Order some paper. Um, this is what they look like when they come to you. They're a little kit. You will need the stamps. There's no dies this week that you'll need because it's not a bundle, but you will need the stamps and the ink. I don't send pre-stamped images. Um, let's see, here's another one, the fireside. But I do send you everything else that you need to make the projects. All right. Remember that one? Oh, that's an old one. Cute. Okay, let's get started. Let me, let me make some room. And I'm going to move you guys. I'm going to turn you around. Let's see. Hey, you guys, look at this really cool thing that I bought. It's tape that you just clip on your table. Hello. I saw that at Michael's and I had to bite because I am always looking for my tape. So I'm going to use it. Let me clip it back to the table. And I saw something else. I don't know. Where did I see it? Maybe it was a commercial, but it was that. And you hook the wrapping paper to it. And you can roll it and then put the, I was like, yes, yes, please. I need that. All right. Okay. Lisa, you do need that tent stamp. Why don't you have that? Hey, you guys, that's Lisa Cunningham. She's my downline, and she's getting ready to have a big BOGO sale. So if you are looking for something particular that you would and you would like to shop her online BOGO sale, send me a message, and I will hook you up with her. She is, um, she's is she been in my downline for quite a long time, right, Lisa? Um, she now lives in California, but she lived here in San Antonio. That's how we met, um, and now she's far away. But anyhow, my BOGO sale is over pretty much gone, don't have anything, but some of you have emailed me looking for things. So if you would like to connect with her, you can probably see her in the comments. Her name's Lisa Cunningham, but if not, I would be happy to hook you up with her. Just message me. Okay, let's get started. Can I have a little drink first? Hold on. All right, that was a lot of words. So today, we are going to use this adorable little set called Ghoulish Goodies. And you guys, have I ever told you what a horrible speller I am? <laughs> when I was a kid, spelling was the worst. Like I was, a, I was a horrible speller. And then I became, you know, you, you become self-conscious about it. So then it like trips you up. Ghoulish for some reason kept tripping me up when I was typing it. Now, most of my misspelled words are just typos because thank God for spell check. But anyway, here it is, ghoulish. It has an H, an O, and a U. <laughs> it's on page 55 of the holiday catalog. Um, I love it because you've got images and words. And the words are fun enough to be the focal point if you didn't want to do the images. So... That's what we're doing. There's not a lot of samples using that in here. Was there over here? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, there's really not a lot of samples using it. But look, so cute, the cat and the vampire. So that's what we're going to do today, all right? And you know I was on the hunt for, for pumpkin and can Halloween candy. Some of you have sent me pictures of things you found Believe me, I have found lots of things. Anyhow, this will be the first thing we're going to make. This is a little box, like a clamshell box, and it holds those Russell Stover orange uh, marshmallows. They come in, all, they also have peanut butter marshmallow, all kinds of different ones. I linked on my blog over to Amazon. They're overpriced over there, 
but hopefully you can find them in your store. I think I got these at Walgreens or CVS, I believe. Um, but anyway, fit. I made the box to fit it perfectly. If you can't find those, just put some other candy in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. So anyway, that's what we're going to make, all right? Now, all the measurements and the products that I'm using are going to be over on that PDF on my blog. I think I showed it to you, right? It looks like this. There's lots of measurements on all three projects today. So don't feel like you have to write it down frantically um, because it's over there on the PDF. If you're like me, you write it down and then you immediately lose it. Yeah, that's me. So that's why I make a PDF. You can save it on your computer. You can print it. It's free. All right. Okay. Um, Gina, message me or email me. Yes, I'd be happy to send you one. All right. <laughs> you guys, message Lisa, please, privately. Please do not ask her in the comments of the Facebook Live what she has. Lisa will be happy to answer you. Um, okay, you need a piece of pumpkin pie, four and a half by 11. You're going to score the long side at one, at five, six, and 10. Then turn it to the short side and score it at one and three and a half. All right. All right. I need a little side table to put all of this. And I wonder, do you think I have my bone folder? It was here. I made clean recordings of all of these videos already today. I actually got them done really quickly this morning. Um, so if you guys come back and want to make these later, you don't have to watch the long Facebook Live and hear me chatting and all that. Um, there will be clean recordings on my YouTube channel as well as they'll be linked under the photos on my blog, okay? So burnish all those lines. And now we're just gonna snip all these lines and cut the squares at an angle, okay? Now, you guys, one thing that happened on my trip that was awful, awful, the last morning, the phone rings pretty early and it's my oldest daughter. They're staying with my mom, but she had brought my youngest daughter home to change for a basketball game. And my little one went outside to feed her rabbit and her rabbit had died. It was awful. When Ellie called me, I could hear my little one crying and just screaming in the background. So that put a damper on the end of our trip. It was really awful. So now we have no more rabbits. Um, see how I did those? We're not totally sure what happened. We have somewhat of an idea, and I won't go into it, but well, we were trying to protect him from mosquitoes. He was being covered in mosquitoes all the time, and we had a mosquito net. That's what we read online, because rabbits, you guys, don't ever get a rabbit for a pet. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. They are the most high-maintenance, fragile animals. <sighs> anyway, you can't use anything on them. And so the mosquito net was what... Oh, Nancy, you lost your bunny this week, too. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's hard losing a pet. It's really hard. Um, but anyway, he got wrapped up in that net. That's not what killed him. Um, but he died the next day. And I think maybe stress or something. I don't know. Anyhow, let's get back to fun things. All right, so we've done that. Um, we're going to put um, stamp and seal plus on the outside of all four squares. Actually, all the squares. And before I put it together, I do need to do something else. So, what, you know, it's a clamshell, basically. It's the same box on either side. So it doesn't matter which side you do this. Fold in four of the squares to the sides. Yeah, Donna, you're right. Better at the end of the trip than the beginning. Yeah, for sure. Because, ugh, and I, I just, I mean, my husband, he, he was a free range rabbit. And so we had to call my husband's brother to come take care of things. <laughs> it was awful. Um, Denise, are you serious? You have working rabbits. Are you serious? That is so funny. Her husband is a magician. That, okay, we're going to have to talk later, Denise, because that is a very interesting story. Elaine, right? Rabbits are tough. Yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. Our other one died at the beginning of quarantine, um, and that was super traumatic because she was got very sick. Okay, why do I keep talking about this? Take any circle punch you have <laughs> and punch a circle right there on the other end. This is going to give you a little thumb place, you know, like a little... So that, did I do it? Mm, it's off-centered. 
darn it. Oh well, nobody cares. All right, so then it just folds like that. It's a little clamshell box, okay? All right, let's put the pumpkin in. Yeah, Lisa, they do die fast. You know, well, being in South Texas, I was actually surprised they lived as long as they did. And I was actually thinking the other day, man, he survived another hot summer. And right when it started getting cool again. <sighs> but, you know, he was pretty sad um, when the other one died. They, they, they bond, become a bonded pair. And he, uh, I mean, he was living a pretty sad life after she died. Okay, let's, let's do this. Little kitty, super cute, super cute cat. You know what, I feel like um, that's kind of low. Let me do that again, because I need it to be kind of higher than that. Right there. Okay, now, oops, hello, I have two of these here. Now I'm just gonna take my pumpkin pie marker. We're actually getting more rabbits in December. She uh, raises, she'll be raising rabbits for our 4-H, but they will not be pets. We will not be keeping one, I promise. <laughs> We will not, I learned my lesson. Okay, now I dropped the ink a minute ago. Where did it go? Right here. All right, we're gonna stamp on black with craft ink. This is the, it does say Whisper White, doesn't it? When it is in the catalog, it says uninked pad with craft ink refill. I believe that's what it says. And so you ink up your own, um, your own pad. It's for embossing. So once you do that, I'm gonna turn on my heat tool and get it warmed up. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds, and I hate it. It's like a really long 10 or 15 seconds when you're waiting. It's like, you know, when you put something in the microwave and 30 seconds feels like a lifetime. All right, there we go. You just want, if you turn it on ahead of time, just make sure it's not pointing at anything because it will melt things. All right, let's see, was it warmed up? Hmm, somewhat, still taking a while. There we go. All right, so Ghoulish Goodies. That's the name of the stamp set. Melanie, pretty hot in Arizona still, huh? Oh, you lost four rabbits to the heat. Did you lose them to the heat? You know, I think what, um, the reason my rabbits did okay is because they, they're free range in our backyard and they dug under the shed and made their little lair. <laughs> under the shed you know where the skunk went um that was the, and they would i think it was cool down there i think that's the only way they survived all right so now oh i didn't tell you what these were ornate layers these were with the halloween things last year if you remember there was um, a bundle with a halloween stamp set in these dies the dies carried over and i forget about them they're really awesome so we're going to do that and that okay so let me bring my cut and emboss machine over 106. Melanie, does it ever cool off there? Ever? 106. I mean, that's San Antonio in August. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's not uncommon. But in October, that seems very high. Lisa, your heat tool died after the caramel. <laughs> you gave it a good workout, didn't you, Lisa? The caramel apples. They're so cute, though. They were worth it, weren't they? All right. Let's run these through. And the little die just barely fits around those words. Right? But it does. It fits. See? All right. Let me put my dies back where they go so that I don't lose them. Okay. This guy over here. And we're going to put this on with a dimensional. Hey, Trisha, I saw your message and I just haven't gotten back to you. I'm terrible with Facebook Messenger, you guys. Terrible. I, I don't have, I, on, you know, on purpose, I don't have notifications turned on on my phone, but then I miss things, you know, I miss messages. This is that Halloween paper in the um, holiday catalog. I love that tone on tone, that black print. And then I use the Pumpkin Pie Designer Series paper and cut out a, a shape from the Tasteful labels dies oh 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 hold up hold please we forgot there's something else we've got to do this is the metallic mesh 
and we're gonna we're gonna put it over here. It's gonna be it's gonna overlap like this, and then we're gonna kind of pinch it in the middle. Oh, Melanie, that was twenty years ago. Still traumatic, though, I bet. <laughs> Your poor son. Yeah, you know we've done um, four H rabbits for my goodness. Will this be our fifth year? And I don't want to say it, but so far so good. But it's not uncommon. They're just so fragile and delicate, those rabbits. Okay, so now we've wrapped that around. See, I just did that. You could just put some tape. But I want to pinch it here in the middle like this so it gathers. So what I'm going to do is take two dimensionals, and I'm going to pinch it like that and put the dimensionals kind of on either side like that and then lay this right there. So it's kind of sandwiched, okay? And then we'll put our kitty cat, a cute little kitty cat right there. And then my favorite twine. We're using it twice today. Black and white, I mean, black and white twine. Yes, you've got to use that for Halloween, of course. Bonnie, you have 16 rabbits. Are you, is that what you're saying? 16 rabbits. The most we've ever had was, well, we I guess we did have 14 last year, but they were not they were not here for long. They were not here. All right, and now we're just going to put it on top of our box and be done. This is kind of um these Russell Stovers, I can't remember how much they are. Um but I think they're less than a dollar, close to a dollar. These would probably be, I don't know if I'd hand these out trick-or-treaters, but maybe like for your friends at the office, a teacher, you know, just a little step up from the regular bagged Halloween candy. Look how cute they are all together. There you go. Project number one is done. Okay, now let me move all of this. I hope you guys like that. Um, and if you can't find those marshmallow, whatever they are, Russell Stover's marshmallows, just fill it with, oh, Dove chocolate pumpkins. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the Dove chocolate pumpkins. I was at Walmart today. I ran to get just get a couple things, and I walked down the candy aisle, and oh, very tempting, very tempting, but I'm not doing that to myself. Again, I also love the candy corn pumpkins. What are those called? You know, they look like candy corn, but they're pumpkins. Oh my gosh. I love those so much. And those, if you eat too many, they'll make you sick. <laughs> and I mean, too many is like five. They're very sweet. Okay. Next up, we're going to make a bag and the bag is perfect for any kind of candy. So let's see, you know, just a bunch of random candy. So you can do like a mix or you could do like if you do um, homemade or whatever. All right, and I'm gonna show you, can you see the cobwebs embossing folder? And I just embossed the front. Okay, so let's get started. Here's my bag of random candy. Look at these, have I, I don't, have I used these yet? Oh yeah, I did. These I used on my all-star project last month. Kit Kat, which is brew, and they're white chocolate. Oh no, wait, are they green? They're green. I gave one to my dad today and I saw him eating I thought it was white. How funny, now it's open. You know what's gonna happen. I'll put it over there. I'll give it to my daughter. <laughs> I'm being really good after, after not being really good. I'm trying to. Um, yeah, Melanie, any Dove chocolate is good. Bonnie, all different kinds. Oh, so are they at your house, these rabbits? You need to send me a picture. I love rabbits, but no more. I, I can't do it. Too high maintenance. All right, here we go. Basic black, six by 11. We're gonna score the long side at, whoa, I almost, that seems like it's not straight. Yeah, I guess, no, that, look, did I? Oh no, it's not straight. Hold on, let me cut it straight. Okay, let's try again. Six by 11, long side, we're gonna score at three, at five, at eight, and 10. Then you're going to turn it and score the short side at one and a half. And then on these two 
two inch sections, these are the sides. I want you to score a line down the middle and stopping about, I don't know, what is that? Three fourths of the way down. All right, just stop. We're gonna create little pleats there so we can pinch our bag closed. And I'm gonna grab my ruler. And I used my bone folder in the other video. Any straight edge will do this. So now you're just gonna wanna connect, you know, this corner to that and this corner to that. So this is what the bag punch used to do when we had the bag punch. But look, you don't need it. You can do it without it. Okay, there's that. And then over here. Ooh, I should be using my pink ruler. I got a pink ruler. It's really cute. But it's 18 inches, and an 18 inch ruler is just really long. Kind of gets in the way. Okay, so there we go. See how we did that? All right. Now, bone folder. Where did it go? Right here. Yeah, Yvonne, you like those too? I love those. Mm hmm. So good. And you know, there's that, is it Jelly Belly mix that has those yellow? They're like corn. They're like, they look like little corns. Maybe it's not just those, but oh, those are good too. And like maple flavored. Mm, 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 mm. I don't love candy corn, but I don't hate it. But my mom, I don't know if my mom's on here. She would mi mix it. I'm sure you guys have seen that. Candy corn and peanuts. Ooh, that is delicious. Okay, now we've burnished those lines. Take your hand and just kind of carefully burnish those little lines that you made. They'll, they'll pop into place pretty easily um, when you pinch your bag. But just if you want to kind of give them a little bit of, uh -uh, you know, <laughs> and make sure you make that noise when you do it. Okay, I need my long scissors. Did I have my long scissors? I thought I did. Oh yeah, here they are. Okay, so we are going to cut up the long side again. And then candy corn that is made with honey. Donna, what? I love honey. Are those, oh, hi, mom. Those are, that sounds delicious. Anything with honey. Mm. Um, Patty, are you asking me, did I hide my candy from myself? Psh. Yeah, right. I just, sometimes I have to throw it away. I did buy some um, pumpkin spice Jordan almonds from Target, and I had to throw those away because, oh my gosh, they're so good. Pump, um, Target also had, you know, their little Archer Farms brand. I bought some... Pumpkin Spice Trail Mix, and what was the other one? Oh, um, Apple Cinnamon Trail Mix. Oh my gosh. The only reason I bought it is because we were gonna be hiking. So I was like, oh yeah, we need some trail mix. And my husband was like, no thank you. <laughs> and it was so good, so good. But normally I'm not gonna just eat that. Well, I would like to, but okay. So you guys have seen, you see what I'm doing. Oh, hello. I'm not paying attention. We got to do something else. All right. We're ready. We've cut, I cut the corners off of that. That's our side tab. I cut the corners off these square tabs. Now we're going to take our embossing folder and we're going to emboss just this side. Now there may be other ways to do this. I have no idea. This is how I do it. Okay. I'm going to put it in like this and then I'm going to fold it like that and run it through. And it's fine. I don't know if that's the official way to do that. <laughs> Maybe there's a different way. Does it go through? I guess it would go through that way too, huh? So you could do it like this. Let's do that. That's probably a better way. Although the, that folding is the way I did it before. But I'm gonna do it like that, okay? And then it's all gonna stick out. So when we emboss, we need different plates. You need plate number one, which is the base plate. Then you put your, that's gonna work, right? Yeah, that fits. Okay, then you put that there, and then you need this plate, plate number four, okay? And I made sure that the edge of the embossing folder stopped right there at that um, score line. Ooh, peanuts and M&Ms, Darvina, mm-hmm, 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 that sounds so good. So good. Okay, look, there we go. Look at that, see how it just stopped right there. All right, now let's put it together. 
This is a pretty easy project. I think like if you were gonna make a bunch of anything that we do today, this would be the one. All right, adhesive on that side tab. And if you fold that in and fold that over, it'll match up perfectly. And there you have it like that. And see how we're gonna pinch that? And those little, those little score lines you make will pop right into place. All right, so do your two squares, put them in. Uh-oh, are we out? We're out. All right, hold on, let me switch this out. Um, Stampin' Seal Plus has become my new favorite. Stampin' Seal is great also, but it's a little more persnickety. If you have used it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it does, it does, they both have a learning curve. You have to kind of hold your wrist differently. Um, but this is a, this is a great adhesive and I like the way it feels in my hand. The holder is very nice. All right, so fold that in and then we're going to do this one. Oh, there we go. Hey, if your adhesive ever does that where you start it and it pulls up the paper or whatever, let go of it and then run it back over some other adhesive and it'll get it perfectly back on track. I learned that from the Stampin' Up! video. I didn't come up with that. All right, there's our bag. And then we just pinch it closed like that. Okay? Okay, now the tag is super easy. We're gonna cut out some bats from the, what are these called? These are just called Halloween magic dies. The whole magic in that sweet name, it throws me off. It doesn't make sense. It just needs to be Halloween night or spooky night or something. <laughs> Magic in the night, in this night or something. I don't know. It's a very odd name. Okay, so we're back to using a die. So I'm going to put plate one, plate two, and then um, a clear plate. Got to have a clear plate. And then the paper and the bats webs can just come sit over here. Uh, Mary, I just bought Thanksgiving. Oh my God, Mary. She says she just bought Thanksgiving dinner candy corn yesterday. Mary, throw it in the trash. It is awful. I bought it too because it looked like those, right? No, no. It tastes like Thanksgiving dinner, like turkey candy, turkey flavored candy and green bean flavored candy. Yeah, I don't know. It's awful, awful. And let me tell you, I don't say that about candy. <laughs> I love candy, but it was disgusting. I even texted my mom, this, what is this stuff? I mean, the, it. come on, if you're gonna make candy that looks like Thanksgiving dinner, Jen, you've had it too. If you're gonna have candy that looks like Thanksgiving dinner, don't make it taste like gravy, turkey, green beans. Ugh, gross. Well, before you throw it away, just try it. <laughs> and you'll come back and tell me. I mean, surely nobody's gonna like it. I don't know, it's so weird. Um, okay, I'm just using the sentiment from the stamp set. I will also tell you guys, do I have them sitting here? No, okay. Those of you that bought the Halloween class from me, I sent these little Skittle bags that are um, <sighs> zombies right? The bag is gray. You might've seen it at your store. Little, just, you know, like, um, trick or treat candy size. Well, I sent them all out. I put a little tag, you know, I always do that in my classes. And then a few days later, a friend of mine on Facebook posted this story about a mom who was getting on her kids. They were complaining that the candy didn't taste good. And she was like, you ungrateful kids, blah, blah, blah. Well, apparently there are some of the Skittles within the package taste like nasty things. You know, like those jelly bellies that taste like awful things like grass and diaper and all that. That's what those Skittles are like. And I had no idea. So if you got my Halloween class, don't eat those Skittles <laughs> unless you want to be surprised or freaked out or something. I would never have bought those. You've heard of those too, Darvina? And you know what? I saw them today in um, Walmart, the package, and I looked on the package and it does say some taste like Oh, I can't remember what it says. Something nasty or something like that. And it says, um, are you brave enough to try them? I'm like, oh, no, we're not brave enough. We don't want to eat that. Just give us a regular Skittles. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not even talking. What You guys, this paper's on sale. So is the Halloween paper. 
I meant to point that out. The Halloween paper that I put on here, it's on sale. This plaid tidings, my favorite paper, maybe some of my favorite paper of all time. Yes, Bean Boozled, Deb, that's what it's called. Ugh, that is awful. Um, this paper, the plaid tidings, you know, you know, you guys know, come on, right? This paper right here that has all the plaids that I'm pretty much obsessed with, it's on sale. So get it, stock up, buy several. That's what I'm doing. All right, so we've got our little bats. Let's put them on here. My mom and I are going to Trader Joe's tomorrow. We don't have a Trader Joe's real close to us. We have a couple here in San Antonio. I just never go, but I saw this girl on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, what does that tell you when we, when we show what we buy at the grocery store on Instagram? But anyway, she bought some things that were really like healthy and um, doing Weight Watchers is low point. So we're going to go over there and we're going to check them out. And maybe they'll have some interesting Halloween things too. They'll probably be all healthy, right? If it's at Trader Joe's. Okay, so see what I'm doing with these bats. I'm going to fold up those wings. Just, or not fold them up, but you know, like pinch them up and do that. So cute. And then I'm talking way too much today. I wanted to be done by three because I got to help Addie with something. Um, you guys, I didn't even tell you. My kids are going back to school on Monday. Hallelujah. Yes, they're going back. I'm a little nervous. I'm excited. I'm worried. I'm happy. You know, the whole gamut. <sighs> Iridescent pearls. Lovely. See how they're different colors? Yellow, green, purple, iridescent. Anyways, they're going back to school. They're excited. We need to get back on track because let me tell you, doing middle school via Zoom is not working for some of us. It is not working for some of us. Um, my high schooler, I'm going to clip this. I mean, not clip. See what I did? Dimensionals. And I'm going to put that there. Then to hold it closed. You don't even have to hold it closed. I mean, let's just put some candy in it. Why do we need to pinch it closed? I don't know. You can put these in here like that. So these clothes pins, I got at Walmart. They're bigger than the tiny ones and smaller than the big ones in the craft section. And then you can just clip that on there. But look, I overfilled it so it won't hold it closed. So I'm just gonna put that like that. And then my favorite ribbon is back again. And I'm gonna tie this like this. You guys, I, I made this scarecrow. We're doing, our neighborhood's doing a scarecrow contest. And you know, if it's a contest, I have to do it. And I was looking for ribbon. I went in the attic because I knew I had a big box of old Stampin' Up! ribbon. And it was old Stampin' Up! ribbon. And it was so fun to look at them. The, remember the big, fat, striped ribbon? I had some of that. Some pom-pom trim. Oh, it was fun. I had nothing I could use in my scarecrow, but it was fun to go down memory lane. I need to pull it out and just use it. I don't know why it's in the attic. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? That's an easy bag. This bag... You need to just remember this bag because this bag can be anything. Christmas, Valentine's, um, party favor, Easter, whatever. Um, you just change the color. You don't even have to emboss it. Just make a tag, put on a bow to match the season, and you've got an easy treat bag that will hold anything. And if you're going to bake something to put in there, put it in a cello bag first and then put the bow on the cello bag and it will just, you know, hang out out the top. All right, that's it for project two. We have one more. Now look, I'm gonna send these to the teachers because you know, <laughs> you know I, I'm pretty hands-off. I'm a pretty hands-off mom with my kids. Um, I don't hover, I'm not a helicopter mom. Um, but this year with school, I've had to hover. I've had to hover somewhat. And I have sent more emails to teachers in the last few weeks than I think I've ever done because it's, you know, everything's just confusing. But anyhow, there are a few teachers I have in mind that I probably need to send these to <laughs> because I've been emailing them. So I'm telling you guys, starting sixth grade at a brand new school on Zoom is almost undoable, I think. I mean, it's for a kid to go from elementary school to managing seven classes, seven teachers, electronic grades, electronic tutoring, electronic assignments. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. Last but not least, how about some Hershey cookies and cream fangs? Um, 
Cookies and Cream is my oldest daughter's favorite. She likes these. And so I got these, um, I don't know. I, I don't even remember where I got these, but I'm pretty sure they're everywhere because they're just regular Hershey's. Um, but I want to show you, I'm going to open this one too. They look like fangs. Look, it's like a little mouth, like a little, oops, upside down. See the fangs? And when I saw those, I thought of this guy, the vampire. So yes, I'm not going to eat it. I don't really, these are okay. You know, there's some candy I can't stop eating, but Kit Kats and, and that, I don't, I mean, doesn't, meh, I'm not tempted. Those pumpkins though, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so I did two different versions of this because I couldn't decide. I wanted it to look kind of like a ghost. This is the first one I did and I stamped him here and went backwards so he got lighter backwards. So that could mean he started out as a ghost and then became, what do they call it, the cor corporeal form? <laughs> I read too many stupid books. Um, so then the next one I did, I thought, no, he needs to turn into a ghost. So I don't know what the right way is. I feel like this is the right way, going dark to light. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to do um, this little plaid here. Now look, see how they go? They're like a little wallet, like a little Hershey's wallet, and um, has that little um, diagonal there, okay? Okay. Let's get started on this one. The little gingham we're gonna use pattern play. This was last month's all-star tutorial bundle. I love this stamp right here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little plaid. All right, you're gonna need a piece of Pacific Point. You guys, I can't even remember the last time I used Pacific Point cardstock. And I, I literally have only like four sheets of it. So I'm gonna have to do a quick order so that I can make your make and takes. But the reason I decided on that is because that was pretty much the closest color I could get to that. Um, maybe, now I think Coastal Cabana would be too green. But anyway, it's pretty close. Okay, let me look at my notes. This is a, oops, next page. Thanks, Kathy. I love making treat boxes. They're my favorite. You know, you guys have been thinking about my million dollar stamp set. Um, when you hit a million dollars in sales, you get to, you know, co-create a stamp set. And I have a lot of ideas, but don't you think it should, my husband doesn't think this is a good idea, but something that would be cute tr treat packages, stamps for treat packages. Cause that's what I love to make. I don't know. That's just one of the ideas. I have like 10 ideas, but we'll see. Um, okay. Back to this five by nine. Okay. One thing I realized when I was prepping for this last night, this is not straight either. One thing I realized last night is that all of my, <laughs> all of my projects this time use a full sheet of cardstock. I like to design when you can get two things out of a full sheet, but all three of them, you can only get one out of a full sheet. So I apologize. You'll have a lot of scraps. Okay, make, I don't know why my cuts are so crooked. Five by nine, on the long side, we're gonna do two and a half, three, six and a half, and seven. On the short side, we're gonna do half and four and a half. Your niece is having a Halloween baby shower. These will be perfect. Oh my gosh, a Halloween baby shower? How fun, are you, are you in charge of it? Are you decorating, Natalie? Pumpkins, little pumpkin decorations and stuff. How fun. I love decorating with pumpkins. I'm gonna have to show you guys my scarecrow. Um, <laughs> stupid scarecrow contest in the neighborhood. Why? Why did I sign up for that? Because then it just became this snowball, you know, of all this stuff that I was buying and it's ridiculous and it's probably gonna blow away out there. Okay, now we scored the first one at, there. There's two sections on the end and they're different sizes. One is two and a half and one is two, okay? The two and a half section, the bigger section will be at the top of your box. So on that section, we're gonna cut off the square tab and the rectangle tab. Dina, you think that's a good idea? Treat packages. The kids are dressing up too. Natalie, so cute, what a good idea. I love, I love Halloween and not because I like ghosts and stuff. I just love pumpkins and the weather and the candy and you know, I love it. Okay, so now let me get my smaller scissors for this next part. You're gonna trim, snip and snip. 
you know, you could cut the corners off of that, but I don't think you really need to. So we're not going to because you're not even going to see it. Doot, doot, like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is fold this up into there. Okay. So get your stamp. Uh, what am I, what am I saying? Stamp and seal plus. And I'm going to fold it up like that. Okay. See how I did that? And then fold this up and over. And then you want to just kind of square up those sides like that. And then that folds over. Now, I didn't like this, the way that looked. So what I decided to do is to cut that at an angle. So I'm going to go from here to that back corner and just snip that off. Okay. So back corner to front corner like that. All right, and then you can put your little things in there. You know, they're a little bit loose, so what you could do is put a blue dot behind each one. You know, it's not gonna hold it there permanently, but it's gonna keep them from maybe sliding out. Okay, so now we're gonna sandwich this twine in. And I, I forget to do this, so I'm gonna do it first. We're gonna have to come back and untie it in a minute to do the bottom part. But I always forget and I adhere it down and then I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't put the twine. So we're gonna do the twine before we even do the stamping. All right, so tie your twine all the way around. Lisa, he was 10 days late. You know, I have a November 3rd baby and she was actually due, how early was she? She was due two weeks later. She was a giant, so she came early. But it was fun. She came just three days after Halloween. Okay, so there's our little main box. Now let's do the stamping. Um, remember the measurements for these pieces are on the PDF. It's under the last photo there on pinkbuckaroo.com. Where did I put the ink pad? Is it over here? You know, I have like six mementos. I have one here, but I think that's the one that's pretty dry. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Okay, so I didn't read. Do you guys think I should start on the right or the left? Remember, should he go from dark to light or light to dark? What do you guys think? Tell me your idea. I'm going to give you eight seconds. <laughs> That's how long of a delay there is. Oh, Donna, that was your mom's birthday, November 3rd. My mom's birthday is November 8th. Um, Karen, the nothing better set and dies is one of my all time favorite sets. I spent a whole day playing with it. You know what, Karen? And that's Connie's million dollar set. It's an excellent set, isn't it? And I had it on my list and I never got to it. You leaving? Um, what time does your tournament start? 4 30. And then you'll be done after dark. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. I love you. Did you get your snacks? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. That's my oldest daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your head on the ink pad. <laughs> um, yes, I think they can see you. She's going to a tennis tournament. Um, okay, bye, Ellie. I love you. I love you. All right, let's see. Dark to light, dark to light, light to dark, light to dark, 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 dark. Okay, looks like most people are saying dark to light. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay. that's what That was what I felt like it sh I should have done. Here it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Distracted. They're finally playing tennis. She's so happy. They've been playing for a few weeks now. Okay, so we're going to just stamp him once in full strength, and then we're going to go boop, 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 like that. Did I do it right? Dark to light? No, y'all said, what did y'all say? <laughs> did y'all say light to dark? Whatever. That's the way it's going to be. And one thing I forgot to do on the video, on the clean recording, was um, I added, um, of course, Wink Stella. We'll make him Edward, and, and he'll sparkle. Who, who gets my reference? I'm sure most of you do. Uh-huh. How many Edward fans? Team Edward? Team Edward. All right. There we go. Okay. So he's a sparkly vampire. Now we're going to do pumpkin pie. Some pumpkin pie sentiment. And, you know, again, so many cute sentiments in this stamp set. The most spectacular. Oh. Crooked. Oh well, we're going with it. They don't care. They just want the candy. <laughs> the most spectacular time of the year. Okay, so we've got that piece done. Now 
for the gingham. This, um, I need my scrap paper. This, this stamp is, the lines are wavy. They're not perfectly straight. So do not worry about getting it perfect because it, number one, it doesn't need to be perfect. Number two, it's not going to be perfect because the lines themselves look kind of like, um, like paint, paint lines. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. Oh, look at that. Nope. You know what? Boo. We'll start over. That's why cardstock has two sides. The problem is that the, the stamp is longer than the ink pad. All right, let's try that again. This one needs a lot of pressure. Maybe I should use my stamp apparatus. All right, there we go. Edward, Team Edward, yeah. Do you have any Team Jacob? That was fun times, right? That was a fun book. And movies. All right, now, you guys, I just read a book. See how I have one space left? I, I'm gonna put one line. If you are looking for a good book, I just finished an excellent book called 28 Summers by Ellen, what is her name? Hildebrand, a Ellen Hildebrand. First name looks like Erin, 28 Summers, you guys. It was so good. I won't tell you what it's about. You need to read it, but it starts out sad and then it flashes back 28 years. So you know what's coming at the end. And so you fall in love with these characters, even though you know what's gonna happen. It's very good. Have any of you read that? 28 Summers, Midnight Sun right now? Are you really, Debbie? How funny. I know, I've thought about rereading those Twilight books. They were so good. I don't know, I don't know. Teresa, you like her books? I, I'm in the middle of a series too. She has another book coming out on Tuesday. Melanie, did you read 28 Summers? Oh, I was telling my mom about it. I loved it so much, so much. It, and I think I liked it because she was just a little bit older than me. Every chapter is a different summer starting in 1993. And uh, maybe I liked it because it followed kind of like my path when I was her age. She was maybe three or four years older than me, but it was kind of the same. Same music, you know, same references and stuff. It's so good. I listened to the audiobook and read it. I'd read it at night, listen to the audiobook while I was exercising. Okay, now remember we put the twine there. We're going to sandwich this piece in right there. So that our twine now is locked in. It's not going to fall off. Now we're going to untie it, open it back up, and we'll put, isn't that so cute? This little plaid, you guys, um, you could do it in any color for any occasion, just like the bag for birthdays, for Christmas, for Halloween, for Easter, for whatever. Do it in different colors. You could do a rainbow too, I don't know. You'd have to be really like paying attention to do a rainbow, but it probably could be done. Went to Forks, Washington. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> don't you know the people in Forks, Washington hate, what was her name, Stephanie Meyer? <laughs> Driving all those crazy people to fans, so funny. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna use my Oh, no, I'm not going to use my scissors because I don't know where it is. Now, last but not least, these little rhinestones are called Christmas. What are they called? Holiday. Ho oh, no, I was thinking they were called Christmas. They're called holiday rhinestones. So I guess Halloween is a holiday to some. Put a few there, a few up at the top, and done. That one's a pretty easy project, too. I think. I don't know. Okay, now, you guys, on Monday... I have another project for you, and I actually filmed a video for you, so make sure on Monday you come back to my blog um, to check these out using that same, same, stamp, same stamp set, and you'll have four ways to use it. All right, so let's look at them. I like to look at them all together. We did the little Hershey fang holder. We did the bag, and we did the cat box. I hope that you guys um, can use one of these ideas for something coming up if you're making Halloween. You know, if you're not like this, take the bats and the sentiment and the cobwebs away and put a pumpkin on it, and then it's not Halloween. All of these projects can always be, you know, used for something else. I want them to be useful for you guys. I want you to be able to use them. 
Now make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, get your free PDF. Everything is there under the last photo. Just click on the link, measurements, all the products I used, all the things that I told you about at the beginning, the lots of leaves class, the all-star tutorial bundle, the club create, and the designer series paper sale. Also the host code that you'll need right here if you put your order, $35, minimum by Monday at midnight using that host code, I will send you the projects for free next week. The make and takes. All you'll need is a stamp, ink, and adhesives. Adhesives? Is that a word? Adhesive. <laughs> um, oh, Deb, it's on PDF. Go look, but you know, you'll have the item number, but here it is. Pattern play. Pattern play. And you know, look at your stamps too. I had a stamp, we had a stamp one year that was just one long line, and I was able to make a plaid with that as well. So look at your stamps and think of them, you know, what would it look like if you stamped them different ways? All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next Friday with something. Not sure. It's going to be some Halloween, but some other things too. All right. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Thanks. Bye.